What's going on, peeps? My name is Simon, and you're watching Soundwave TV, transforming your video experience. Okay, I'm sure you've been keeping up with the entertainment news, and you know that Monique, the comedian, award-winning comedian, she was only offered 500000 for a Netflix special. And other comics, uh, Amy Schumer got $13 million. Dave Chappelle, I believe Chris Rock were offered towards 20 million here's the thing if i'm running netflix i'm not paying no comedian more than maybe five million because how much does it take to do a comedy special it's like you got a mic you got a stage you got maybe crowd control that's it that's all you need to do a comedy special if i'm running netflix my whole thing is people watch netflix for the what the series orange is the new black Luke Cage, Daredevil, Voltron, you know, your animated series, your live action shows, and episodes from old TV shows. Like, anything over $5 million for a comedy, for a comedy special seems kind of silly. Well, Monique was wanting people, wanting black folks to cancel their Netflix subscription. They want them to boycott Netflix. And that wasn't a good strategy to start off with because if you know anything about black folks, both black folks share Netflix accounts anyway. You know, they got a homie, they got a I think a roommate, probably an ex. They ain't figured out they ain't changed their password yet. So it's like, yeah, a lot of people sharing accounts. My whole thing, this is a huge failure on behalf of Monique's agent and or manager. Now, I believe her husband has one of those roles and, you know, they seem to have a great loving relationship. But I definitely think Monique needs to reevaluate her representation going forward as far, you know, on a professional level. Because just because... You can love somebody doesn't mean necessarily they're good for the business. You know, we saw an episode of the game, you know, Melanie, even though she had a, you know, you know, she's a doctor, those skills didn't translate into getting Derwin top dollar for endorsements. You know, and it's the same thing with the NFL, but this is like, a, is it a gender wage gap or is it just not negotiating properly because the NFL ca players are catching the devil right now. You know, Roger Goodell has an immense amount of power, but that's what the players negotiated for. They traded off giving Roger Goodell power over fines and suspensions in exchange for getting more money up front. Cause since most guys have a short career, it sounded like a good idea at the time. Now here's another thing. And you don't see Monique doing a lot of projects lately and she's got this rep for being quote unquote difficult but my whole thing is like I've never heard a bad word about Monique until she started uh, working on Precious now think about this now everybody has a comment that they think is funny they have a comment that they don't think is as funny you know I can laugh at something you may not laugh but here's the thing I've watched Monique from Comic View to Moesha to the Parkers, hosting Showtime at the Apollo, doing the VH1 Ratchet Vision reunion specials, having the own talk show on BET, and not hearing a bad word until I started working with um, Lee Daniels. Now, she got beef with, um, I guess, Tyler Perry and... Oprah and again I like all of their work I don't know who's right or who's wrong and sometimes good people can just clash but again I just the all of a sudden she just flip and become like this blood sucking diva that doesn't make that doesn't make a lot of sense to me you know I'm trying to think Mo, Monique has a Golden Globe and an Oscar, and she should be getting roles. She should be getting money hand over fist. Like, she should be in everything, you know. 
Just like you see Octavia Spencer and Tiffany Haddish out there everywhere. She got to be getting um, those checks and those opportunities as well. And uh, Wanda Sykes is getting low ball too. Now, do you think this is a plot against African-American comedians, comedians, or do you think it's based off the crossover appeal? Now, I've, they've done comedy shows and been funny, you know, Wanda Sykes and Monique, but yeah, that's a... Um, do you think it's the ability to bring in new subscribers that they're judging? I guess Netflix has a metric for that. But you know, it's funny how everybody was for Tracy Ellis Ross to get her money on Blackish, because apparently there's a wage discrepancy there. But people just weren't as gung ho for Monique as they were for Tracy. So again, you know, it's an old business quote. You don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. And clearly, whoever is on Team Monique is not doing their due diligence on the negotiating side. So, who do you think is right? Who do you think is wrong? Put that in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about future videos. Until next time, this is Soundwave, signing off. Peace.